It happened on this day 40 years ago, the death of Elvis Presley. Ron Matz has more on how his many fans are remembering one of the most influential music stars of the 20th century. Elvis Presley's daughter, Lisa Marie, was there, helping thousands of Elvis fans on their candlelit pilgrimage through the Graceland estate and to his grave site. You grow up listening to all his albums as a teenager. And but this year, an unpleasant surprise. Participating in the procession is no longer free, and many longtime attendees protested outside the gates. The right. vigil should be free because right. we're all here because we love Elvis. Right. But it's the one for the money. The show. Elvis remains the best selling solo artist of all time. Even the Beatles idolized him. At a memorabilia showcase in Memphis, fans pick through hard to find CDs. One of Elvis's bodyguards remembers how the king made every show unique. Because there were only two songs set the first one to get him on stage, and the last one when he was telling me he's ready to go home. He would do anything in between. All for his fans. You should have had your knocked out jailbird sing that rock. Jailhouse Rock was a crowd favorite and a number one hit. Mike Stoller wrote the music. He was going to be a big star. We all knew it. Knew Everybody it. knew it. His fans certainly did, and four decades after his death, they still come. Mike Stoller's songwriting partner was Jerry Lieber, who was from Baltimore. Besides Jailhouse Rock, they composed many big hits, including Hound Dog, Stand By Me, and Yakety Yak. Both are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and of course, so is Elvis. Now, back to you. Elvis died on August 16, 1977. He suffered a heart attack at his Graceland estate. He was 42 years old.